So, take one. Here we go. Here I got my three motorcycles. This is a new addition to the family. The 1981 Kawasaki KZ750H LTD. She's a pretty nasty little bike. Only got one caliper on the front. A lot of electronics missing. Such as, I don't know whether that was supposed to be there or not. Blinker switch is missing. High and low. Yada yada yada. The horn switch kind of sticks a little. This bike has been hardtailed. As you can see. So somebody started to make it into a bobber, but never finished. Kind of an interesting deal there. But yeah, I got the bike for free. I'm going to make it into a bobber. And I will just show you all the process of it. Excuse the car is passing by. Do you live right on the road? Just about. Do you have the header for this bike? And the previous owner of the previous owner did the paint job. It's pretty slick. Got the uh diamond plating airbrush they put some teensy weensy little blinkers on it they're so tiny and uh here's our jumble of wires all fucking strewn across in here um uh, Come on. You can't all catch on the chain. Yeah. We got a whole mess to deal with. Check out this fuse box. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's that bike. And I know y'all have already met the Rebel. Just check out other videos on my channel for her. I think I'm an, I think that her name's Tiffany. I don't have a name for her yet. And this. Scarlet finish off the video. She is a 1980 Honda CM400D. Pretty slick handlebars. And uh, I don't have a motor for this. The reason that mount's sitting in there like that is because, uh, well. That's what I got to go in it. An eight horsepower Briggs and Stratton. Whitehead. Tiller motor. And the idea with this is uh, I'm going to run a pulley from that into a. Uh, Lower gearbox, bottom end of a dirt bike motor, and um, 
you know, block off all the holes. Make the crankshaft into a solid shaft that sticks out. So I have a transmission with the clutch. And uh, I run another pulley on there to an alternator. Run some electrical, whatnot. And that'd be a 350cc flathead Briggs and Stratton motorcycle. I think it's cool as fuck. What do y'all think about the tank? Cut it apart like that to beat all the dents out of it. Because it had about three pounds of Bondo on it. I think it looks cool. Custom little seat. Pan of aluminum. Fits right there. It'll, it'll be worked out. But yeah. That's it for today.